And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys. Of course, as you can see by the thumbnail, a brand new series on this channel and a different direction uh, that I'm going to be going down uh, for RFC News. Now, since I've been doing YouTube, probably over the last three years, you kind of evolve and change your tactics and stuff like that and, and look to try and um, be innovative uh, and try and come up with new ideas. Um, and I just felt, you know, uh, every single day from now on at 12 o'clock or just before 12 o'clock or just after 12 o'clock we are going to do a live show a live interactive show of more long form content say half an hour to an hour maybe 20 minutes someday but just a bit longer than the usual sort of content that this channel was built on live streams these channel was built on um interaction with the live chat and the community uh, that we've managed to build over the last couple of years so Again, I just felt like it was uh, time for something new. Everything kept was getting a bit um, repetitive, and I stated I kind of long for those live streams. Um, and here we are. We're going to be starting this brand new era, a live interactive show here on this channel discussing all things Glasgow Rangers from the last 24 hours. Now, some days there might be a lot to talk about. Some days there might not. Um, and in today's one, well, we have got a bit of a story with regards to John Lundstrom, and we've got, of course, the fact that the famous Glasgow Glasgow Rangers are back and are returning uh, once again this weekend against Hibernian. So yeah, whilst we haven't got loads and loads of things to discuss, uh, we've got an enough substance to talk about Rangers and, and dig our teeth into. And guys, your job in the live chat, of course, is to be interactive. Sork, we can go off on a tangent. We can talk about different things that you want to talk about, whether it be summer transfers, whether it be about players that I think have been good or going to make an impact. Or just anything, you know, anything. This is what this is the beauty of it. Try and keep it Rangers related, or at least Scottish football related. Um, and uh, yeah, this is a new era. But guys, if I can be cheeky and ask you all to hit the like button um, and hit the subscribe button, that would be absolutely amazing. And as of course, um, get into, involved in the chat. Um, I'm talking now quickly. Does John or will John Lundstrom stay this summer? Yes or no? We're going to get to that one. A bit later on today, of course, I'm going to talk about... Actually, no, fuck it, why not? Actually, we'll talk about John Lundstrom first, and then we'll move on and um, talk about Hibernian. Um, so, whilst this is a new series, guys, bear with me. I've got uh, graphics and all the rest of it, so when I'm changing scenes, things might not go according to plan, so just bear with me. I'll try this. Um, hopefully, it goes all right. Uh, there we go. Right. Oh, shit. Nearly. My camera went off, and that's about it. But let me sort the camera out, and I think that is actually okay. Oh, shit. Okay. No, fuck. It's not. Uh, video. There we go. Right. Sorry. There we go, troops. Um, so, yeah, this weekend. Uh, oh, sorry. Rangers v. Hibs. See, I told you I'm not right on the on the mark today. I've got a few things I've got to do, right? Ah, Mr. John Lundstrom. There we go. A bit of graphics. Tiny bit of graphics. Guys, come on. Hit the like button. Help me out here, please. Um, and subscribe. So, John Lundstrom, of course, the situation has been well documented so far this season. Look, of course, he's into the final um, few months now of his current contract. And it has been well documented that Mr. John Lundstrom does want to stay at Rangers. He wants to stay at the football club. He's openly spoken about uh, wanting to stay at Glasgow Rangers for the foreseeable future and finishing or playing his final years at um, the club. Now, there has been moments the the new manager, of course, Philippe Clement, has used John Lundstrom. John Lundstrom has come on leaps and bounds since, of course... Um since, of course, uh, since Philippe Clement's basically came in. And he's been a very key player to us. Philippe Clement has stated that he wants him to stay. Uh, Rangers, and there's been many, many reports from reputable sources within the Rangers space, you know, Rangers journalists and all the rest of it, that talks have taken place between John Lundstrom and Rangers. However, there is a bit of a middle ground at this moment in time. And that is that John Lundstrom is not getting the terms that, or the, the terms that, he wants and Rangers uh, I suppose don't want to spend that much money on a 30 plus year old in terms of wages so the middle ground there's a bit of space to meet up whilst both parties do want to get it done it does remain to be seen whether it actually happens I did have confidence of course that John Lundstrom would be staying at the football club and I would have liked John to stay now I do understand both sides of the story I do understand both sides of the argument and that is that 
Oh, John is 30 plus, and of course, this will probably be his last big contract. And football, as it's a cliche saying as it is, football is a very, you know, short lived career. And, you know, I push anyone to try and make as much money as you can. Remember, look, he's not like us, he's not a Ranger supporter troops, unfortunately. He's uh, a guy from Liverpool, I think he supports Liverpool. So he's not a Rangers fan like us, so he doesn't you know, playing out of the passion of the club. He obviously needs to, whilst he might enjoy and love playing for Rangers, you know, he needs to get the best probably financial deal possible for him and his family. So I don't begrudge that. Connor Goldson went through the same sort of situation, if you like, um, maybe a couple of seasons ago. Um, so I don't, you know, I don't begrudge players looking after their welfare. You know, it's, it's not about that. They need to, especially with these big contracts. And if John can get, you know, double the terms, then, all the best to him. It's, it's, it's fair enough for him. But I think it's important for him to... I think that Rangers can meet him in the middle. Or we can find that middle ground that both John and Rangers can be happy uh, that we can agree things. But whilst this does stall at this moment in time and nothing has been agreed, John is actually free to talk to other football clubs with regards to signing a pre-contract come the end of the campaign. Now, obviously, the rule of that is that it has to be outside of Scotland. And we have got our first idea that clubs are potentially interested in Mr. John Lundstrom. Yes, reports out in Turkey have stated that Trambanzbor, again, sorry for any pronunciation there, has made contact over a potential switch for Lundstrom. Interest in Barisic was known. Now, it has emerged the side are agreeing or eyeing a double swoop of the players who have just months left on their contracts. Now, Borna is well documented. I don't think Borna is, is definitely not going to be staying, so him probably going there could, could work out well for him. Now, for John... I don't see this one going into his favour. Like he can still play at this high level with um, with Rangers and, and can still play for Rangers. The contract offer is there on the table, but obviously the monetary um, terms is something that he's trying to get to. Now, I do think as the weeks and months go on, there will be more interest in John Lundstrom. Like he's proven in the Premier League and probably some other clubs would like him to go there. Do I think John Lundstrom, <clears throat> a scouser, a typical English guy, I've heard him speak on his podcast and he's talked very, very highly about Liverpool and being close to his mates and being close to the people around him. Do I think John Lundstrom is going to be going to Trambanzbor and is he going to be going to Turkey? In my personal opinion, no. I think his priority at this moment in time is to agree terms of Rangers, but of course is wanting to get the best terms possible. So again, whilst Trambanzbor are potentially interested in John, do I think he's going to go there? No. Just because of, you know, I've heard him speak in podcasts so many times talking about, you know, what's the, you know, you just have to go, uh, was it Paddy, um, the UFC fighter, Paddy, if you look at his podcast, John speaks so much about um, about family and, and Liverpool and being around his friends in, 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 that, in that factor and that his family are all settled in Scotland. And so I don't see a player like John going abroad, nor do I see him especially going over to Turkey. And look, I don't have any qualms about that. Well, he might not sign for a new, he might not sign a new contract to Rangers, he, I don't see him going anywhere else outside of the UK just because of the way the guy is at this moment in time, unless it was for obviously ridiculous amounts of money that Saudi Arabia could potentially offer, and Turkey for that matter. Turkey, I've seen a increase in, in players' wages and, and offering good terms, but English, Scottish players, it never works out in Turkey. It never, ever works out in Turkey. You just have to look at Ryan Kent. Griggsy, he did it. Besiktas, he probably was probably one of the more successful stories. Kenny Miller, Berberspor, I think it was. Chris Boyd back in the day did it. There's so many other English players that have kind of made the switch. For some reason, British players, it just never works out in Turkey for whatever reason. Maybe Wilfred Zaha is an exception this year for Galatasaray. But whatever reason it is, it never, ever works out. And I don't know what the jinx is, but um, I don't think, yeah, John going to going to Turkey is 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 worth it, to be perfectly honest. Um, guys, come on, uh, get into the comment section. Do you think John Lundstrom will leave? If you're watching on a replay, Troops, then let me know. For those of you guys in the live chat, let me know down there in the old uh, in the old live chat. I'll read out some comments. 
and um, what everybody's saying and stated. This is an interactive live stream. I want people to talk and uh, speak about things. It doesn't have to be about the current news. It can be about anything to do with Rangers. Uh, but David says, I think Lunny will be off. He will want a three-year deal, at least 30 grand a week. Don't think we'll offer that, in my opinion. Well, there you go, David. As I said, as I went on to a bit of a tangent there, um, I understand from both sides. So John Lundstrom obviously wanting to do what's best for him in terms of the monetary value and get as much money as he possibly can in his last few years as a professional player. It's his last big contract. However, I do understand Rangers' perspective. Why do we... We've been caught with that stuff before, holding the bag and offering huge terms for a player that has been, you know, inconsistent. I do like John, but he has been inconsistent at times. And this season, he's been great. Last season, not so much. The Europa League season, yes, he was... It was first season, he was good in the second half of the campaign. So he has shown some size inconsistency and the fact that we want to go down this new model and look for the next big thing rather than, you know, shedding out all this money on, on older players. So I do get Rangers' side of things and, and what they want to try and do. They want to try and be shrewd with this and get the best offer for them as well. Um, hi, Dan. Good to see Caleb. Me and my mum love watching your content. Also doing a old firm watch along. With regards to the old firm, with regards to the watch-alongs in general, guys, I'm going to start doing these live shows on a day-to-day -day basis first, and then watch-alongs a bit later on, I will start to do. And I love doing the watch-alongs. My problem is, is um, sometimes I'm, depending on the day, just because I'm in Bali at the moment, um, it's it's like three in the morning, which I watch every single Rangers game, no matter what, but I, I stay up, you know. I haven't got to think about, you know, people that, you know, neighbours or people I'm living with or stuff like that about them sleeping. So either way, I watch every Rangers game no matter what, what time it is. It's just when it's doing the live streams, I just don't like to be too disrespectful, especially, you know, in my uh, in the community. I'm a, I'm a pillar to any community, as I say, so I don't want to disrupt people too much. Um, so I will get back to that very soon. I'm going back to Europe in, um, um, in, in like two weeks anyway. So um, they will be coming back very, very soon. Uh, Big Lunny loves it. Ibrox played some of his best football up here and he's a fan's favourite. So with that being said, there is an attraction. Who else can offer him European football every year? Well, you're correct. Who can? Um, but unfortunately, guys, money is a big factor. And a lot of clubs can offer him more wages than Rangers, funnily enough. Uh, John could play with Rangers or even in the English, English Championship, if not us. Hit the like button for me, says Ben. Yes, all right, listen to Ben, guys. Let's try and, if you're a Rangers fan, simple as that. If you support Rangers, hit the like button. I want to see how many Rangers fans are in this in this live stream. As I say, guys, this is going to be a daily occasion. We're going to be doing a daily live show, an interactive show, trying to build a community here on this channel. Um, of course, we'll still do daily uploads as well, but I'm talking in just this daily show every single day. Good to see Cillian. Um, Stuzo says the kebabs are dug. No wonder he wouldn't go. Uh, yeah, take your time. Cool. So, right, that's John Lundstrom kind of spoke with. So to round that up, basically, in a long-winded way, you know, it has kind of stalled his situation, the contract talks, and um, Turkey, Trambanzbor, have um, submitted or have made a, an offer, apparently, to try and do a double sweep for both him and Barris, which that comes from um, Turkish reports. And usually Turkish reports, funnily enough, you might go, well, they chat shit. Actually, Turkey are quite reputable with their journalists. Whilst they're, um, well, sometimes they're a bit iffy. When it comes to Turkish clubs doing stuff, they are quite on the button when it comes to, to sort of transfer news and kind of stuff like that when it comes to Turkish clubs. So um, I do believe it very much so and uh, I wouldn't bring it to you if that was the case. But anyway, enough about the doom and gloom of um, John potentially going. Let's talk about this weekend. Hibs. We've got Hibs at Ibrox. Now... Another huge game for Rangers coming up. The margin for error at this moment in time is literally zero. We've got um, a lot of games coming up, um, a lot of big games. And Hibernian, whilst uh, you'd fully expect us to go out there and win, uh, they can prove to be a bit of a... Well, shit, I say that. They, we don't really struggle against Hibernian, to be fair. I'd have to go all the way back to, I think, Giovanni Van Bronckhorst when we lost to them. I think we went down to nine men. So they're not that good against us. I think they've maybe got a few draws against us over the years. But 
I don't really have qualms here. Usually we do pretty well. We beat them in the Scottish Cup at Easter Road uh, 2-0 recently at the start of this month. We obviously beat them um, away from home at the start of the year again, 3-0. Then we beat them at Ibrox back in October, 4-0. So um, we've got a good record against them. And we actually do score quite a lot of goals against them. So hoping the players do return in the correct manner. Um, as I said, this this international break has been good for us. It's been a, a period of time to allow us to, to get going and uh, allow our players to come back. It looks like we've got Seema coming back. Todd Camp will be, be more up to, to fully fitness. Uh, whilst Rid Van Yelmes did seem as though that he picked up a potential injury blow, uh, it does seem as though he's going to be not out for too long. Um, so other players are set to return and, and, and bolster our ranks, which is very, very good to hear as well. Um, so yeah, we're in a good place, but as stated, it all starts against this Hibernian side. In terms of their actual form so far this season, they're currently sixth, uh, narrowly. Dundee do have a chance to go back above them. Um, so Hibs are chasing a place in the sort of top six or the top half of the table come uh, the split. Um, and it's not necessarily certain that they're going to get there, actually. But their recent form suggests they are very inconsistent. Whilst I did go through their form or our form against them, and we haven't really struggled against them. Again, I think it was back Giovanni Van Bronckhorst, one of the first games of the season, um, 2022-23. That would have been last season, funnily enough. Um, yeah, it's fucking time goes so weird, isn't it? It's such a weird thing. Yeah, right at the start of last season, uh, we lost the nine men, I remember. I think Alfredo Barros and John Lundstrom were sent off on the day. Um, and then, of course, we lost to them. Or oh, we drew to them. Maybe, that didn't, maybe we didn't lose to them. I can't remember. Either way, regardless. Uh, but their last their last game was actually a 3-0 win against Livingston. Prior to that, 2-2 draw against Hibs. Obviously, then lost to us in the Scottish Cup. Beat Ross County. Drew the Edinburgh Derby. So, they are very, very patchy. That's been mu the trend for much of the season. Very, very patchy. Um, and not really consistent so far. So, I don't really have any qualms that we're... I think I think we'll go out there and, and, and beat them comfortably, especially at Ibrox. But I just want the, the, the boys, the Rangers players, to come with the right attitude and, and make sure that there is no margin for error. Of course, we did lose to Motherwell at Ibrox not too long ago in our last home game. So um we need to get it they need to get the job done and, and, and i say it hopefully we can do that um going forward um but guys honestly while these live shows is coming unless we can get some more conversation on the go um that is kind of it for me really there's not a lot of rangers news i mean i've got a bit on uh international roundups of course and to be fair it's been not the best viewing as i said there's been players involved here there and everywhere but big what's his name um, the big man, Cyril Dessers, uh, just doesn't fill me with confidence going forward. He really doesn't, especially for the old firm game coming up very, very soon. It just makes me slightly anxious that he's going to have a big chance dished to him and he's going to spoon it. If any of you guys seen that game in against Ni uh, Nigeria against um, whoever he was playing for against uh, for Nigeria, pff, chance was woeful. I mean, we're used to a week in and week out, but... It doesn't fill me with confidence, really, going forward. Of course, Fabio did get on the score sheet in his most recent game in the Portugal under-21s. Um, and, uh, yeah, and then in terms of the others, we haven't really been bugged down too much with regards to, to international duty and those kind of things. But, um, yeah. You know what, Rangers fans? That's all I've really got for you today. As stated, hopefully this, this series, this show, does pick up a bit more momentum. As the... We do get back to club football as the season starts to resume again. We will start to, of course, get more news in and around the football club. So these shows will be a bit longer. Uh, we can have a bit more topic of discussion. But, you know, as a pilot goes, um, it's not been too bad. And uh, it's good to be doing some more live streams again. Um, but hopefully going forward, we just have a bit more substance to talk about. I'll be back, as always, guys, tomorrow. Um, hopefully with some team news ahead of that game against Hibernian. So, the guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Let me know your thoughts with regards to John Lundstrom down in the comment section below. Uh, hit like and subscribe button. I'll see you all next time, guys. Take care.